are you getting this error message in your eternal server for minecraft if yes then watch this video till then because i am going to give you the best solution so the first step is to make your username shorter for your minecraft launcher for example i am doing it for t launcher and you can do it for any uh, minecraft launcher all the minecraft launcher support this option for this you need to log into your profile and you need to go to settings t launcher so after going to settings you can see this first option and herein you can uh, just uh, rename it or you can make it shorter and just click on change and your username will get shorter so the next step is use the dynip to use it you need to click on connect option in your uh, Eternals account and you need to use this you can see this is dynip you need to use this this dynip the step number is three is to update the server version in your Eternals account so this is my Eternals uh, account and herein i will go to my server i have logged into my uh, Eternals and herein you need to scroll down and you can see the version is showing uh, you can change the version from here it's very easy you can update the version so this is my Tano's account. I will go to my uh, server. You can select any of the server. After that, on server page, you need to scroll down. You can see the version is showing here. You just need to pick on uh, green button to change the version. And from here, you can select any of the version you want. The step number four is to uh, make sure that the server version and the mode version should be the same. So I have shown you how to ch change the server and for modes you can go to your software and check which all modes are installed you need to scroll down these are the modes you can see the squilt mode is showing here and you can see for forge modes is showing so you can select any one of them and you can select the same version of your mode as per your server so make sure that your mode version and server version should be the same and the last step is to add the port at the end of your server you can see this is an example of your port at the end of your server name you just need to add the port so after following all these steps make sure to restart your pc and check whether this issue get resolved or not and if you still face any problem you are free to comment i will make sure to give you a reply and if you find this video helpful just hit on the like button and also subscribe my channel for my coming videos